Well, good morning. Working out here in the uh, greenhouse today, as you can see, and uh, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but it's a cloudy, it's a raining, it's a nasty. The thunder's moved through, all that good stuff, so now we've just got some rain. So I'm working in here in the greenhouse. It's not a bad day in here. I don't know, yeah, there you go. Over here where you have uh, we're, we're potting up, uh, potting up the uh, material here. And what I do is a system, it's a gentleman named Charles. He uh, is over in the UK, and I can put a link below for you. Uh, he, he, uh, he does a lot of pretty cool stuff. One of the things that I noticed he did, and I started doing it a while back, is basically planting in these... Well, he uses big flats. I don't have that opportunity. I use little ones because I don't need as much as him. Uh, but uh, I still get a lot. What I do is he calls it pricking. I know, a uh, weird word, but here's uh, here's an example. These are my Rose OGs. They're a uh, heirloom tomato. Uh, this is uh, seed that I collect from my own harvest when uh, the end of the season comes around so I can plant them again next year. And basically I plant them in this this flat here. And what is this? Uh, this is, uh, let's see, what, what what is this? This is what this is. <laughs> this is from Wally World and it's a uh, thing that meat comes in that uh, I get those from people. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, they got some holes in the bottom drilled in so that they drain out. But nonetheless, I plant my stuff in here. And then what I do is I come in with a little Sharpie and I dig in the soil and I uproot a plant like that. And there you go, there's your roots. I bury it almost up to the top up here and uh, what that is, is this here, as you can see, in here we've got, we've got some Romas, Super Beefs, uh, Yellow Pears, Rose OGs, Rutger. Uh, those are all been pricked out of the container. I got a, uh, these containers here now are, are done I got the what I need out of them and uh, the, the only time I use actual cell is if I do flowers flowers I use cells because I just grow them out of that then I plant them direct it's like these here these are these are a sunflower uh, and they work out well these here are going to be the same thing. I'll prick these out when they get bigger. These are all peppers and herbs. Uh, I've got a few onions coming up. I've had some trouble, though, because of the weird temperature. As you can see, I have some heat tape that goes down the center to help out. And I haven't had it on in the last couple of days. So everything's been okay. Um, over here... We've got some radishes growing. We've got some lettuce, but I've got some failure on the backside. I don't know what happened this time. I I didn't, uh, I'm not using the pricking system here and I don't care for it. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and start some new lettuce, wipe this crop out and start over. This here's again, same as, the, same as I had over there. Rutgers, Romas, Rose OGs. Super beefs, uh, some yellow pear. Uh, over here, I also got some red cabbage, uh, some uh, white cabbage, which is uh, the Copenhagen variety. Uh, some more yellow pears. Yeah, I got a plenty, plenty of tomatoes. <laughs> so, uh, well, I also share my tomatoes with my neighbor over yonder in that yellow house. And then uh, on occasion, I, sh I share them with a ge gentleman named JJ. I don't know if JJ wants them, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, 
we're working on it. We're getting our plants going here. Everything's well. I hope everything's well with you. I got some more to do, so I'm going to get back at it. We all take care now. Bye-bye.